Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Spiritization, and I have a message. If you want to be as lean as possible, you should only do your cardio when you're fasted. Wait, no, that's wrong. It's actually BS. Look, Duke, take a quick look into why. The rationale for fasted cardio, in a certain sense, actually makes a lot of sense. So let's cut it some slack. If you wake up, you have some black coffee or whatever, and you go do cardio, there's nothing in your stomach, there's nothing in your bloodstream from your gastrointestinal tract, you're burning a lot of just straight body fat to get that done, totally. If instead you ate food, you would be burning some of your body fat stores, but also you'd be burning a lot of the food that you just ate, especially towards the tail end of that cardio when the food starts to really digest. And some people eat breakfast, do whatever work, and then an hour or two later, they'll like go do cardio. Well, yeah, it's a lot of like food you're burning. And why would you burn food if you could just burn body fat instead? So fasted cardio logic seems to make sense. But direct research shows that there's a teeny tiny difference and we don't even know which way it goes. Usually it favors fasted cardio by like some infinitesimally small, uh, barely statistically detectable difference. So it turns out fed state cardio, where you eat a meal, wait a while, and then go do cardio, that in the real world versus fasted cardio causes almost the same amount of fat loss. What? Like, uh, how? How could that possibly be if we're burning food in one for the most part and burning body fat in the other for the most part? Well, here's the thing. If you eat some food and then you burn up some of it during cardio, that's food that's not available in your bloodstream to get stored into fat stores. That's food that's not available in the bloodstream to power energy for daily tasks later. So where are you going to get that energy is your fat cells. So it turns out that as long as the calories between those two conditions of fed state cardio and fasted cardio are equated, it's 2,000 calories, 500 calorie deficit, in each one of those, you really end up over the course of the day burning roughly the same amount of body fat, whether or not it's fasted or fed. To that end, how do you decide if you want to do fasted cardio or fed state cardio? And there's really an easy decision-making process. How hungry are you versus how much energy do you need to do cardio? If you notice that hunger is a big deal, it might be a good idea for you to try fasted cardio. Here's why. You wake up, you do whatever, you go start doing cardio without having eaten yet. Your cardio takes an hour, you finish your cardio, you shower, whatever, then you eat. During cardio, for sure, and even after cardio for 30 minutes or whatever, you're often just not hungry because you're in a sympathetic state of activity and you're not really like very much hungry at the time. So you, certainly, you kind of bought yourself an oh, hour or two or three, if you stretch it out, of non-hunger time. That means all of the rest of the calories you have spread to eat through the day can crunch together. And then you're eating in any unit time for the day later more calories per unit time because it's same calories, but the unit time has shrunk. Normally you would eat 2,000 calories over 16 hours and kind of be really hungry during that time. But you bought yourself two extra hours of doing cardio and then showering when you're not eating. So now it's 14 hours. Same number of calories divided by 14 hours, you're feeling fuller on average. So it's a great way to manage your hunger. And that's the big power of fasted cardio. But if your hunger is not really an issue and your cardio is really suffering energy-wise, fed state cardio is just way easier because you have energy from food for your brain, glucose, stuff like that. So if you eat a meal, do some chores, do some work. Two hours later, you do cardio. You're going to burn over the course of 24 hours almost the same identical amount of fat. But at the same time, you're going to be able to really power through that cardio. So if you need cardio power, fed state cardio is better, especially if you do higher intensity cardio. If you compete in some kind of sport that requires you to train, train. If you can plod through your cardio, no problem. A little bit of black coffee goes a long way. And you really want to hunger manage by squeezing the remainder of your food into a smaller eating interval then fasted cardio is your choice. So the idea that fasted cardio is always superior to fed state cardio for fat loss is bullshit. And they hate it. Stop it. <laughs> Thanks, Arnold. It's great to hear your voice again. And until next time, see you next time.